Hi guys, Andrea Mills here. In keeping with my mom's office theme, I'm going to give you guys a tour of my file cabinets today. I have three sets of file cabinets and they look a little sorry. I need to um, change out my tags because they no longer are relevant after last month when I changed things around and Miss Claudia she just likes to steal things out of there but I got these file cabinets at Office Depot they were the deepest ones I could get um, I actually had to order online because they didn't have the ones I wanted in the store so but I got them free shipping so they put them right to the house which was great they only came in black and I wanted an off-white so I spray painted them and I actually chose my spray paint first then I bought regular paint to match the um, spray paint to, uh, to paint the rest of the cupboards in my office. Also, um, I bought drawer handles that were like for, you know, kitchen drawers. And Tom installed those, took off the, the metal ones that came on here and put the nice ones on. And then he ground off the edge to make it still work with the button. And then he actually painted the little, this thing and these things so that it would all kind of go together. So they looked a little nicer. Of course, when the kids like draw over them with markers, by kids I mean Claudia pretty much. Sophia's had her share too. They don't look as great as they did when they were fresh and new. But um, So I have six drawers and I actually outgrew these this year. Um, so I'll show you what I added to that because I did not have any place to put another file cabinet. This year I decided with our curriculum instead of just getting what I thought the kids might need for the year, I bought, we use ACE curriculum, and I bought um, every subject of the core subjects in every grade from kindergarten through 11th grade, I believe. So I would just have everything on hand so that as we needed something, I could get it. And then um, when I have enough, and when we've used enough, I plan to replace it, um, like do one big order when I have an order big enough to get free shipping. <laughs> so um, a lot of times we needed something that I didn't have and then you know I'd order at the beginning of the year and then something would change and I'd have to order stuff and I was paying a lot for shipping just to get one or two paces so I thought I'm just gonna have it all here up front and then we'll just replace as we go and do the whole free shipping thing hopefully. So you can ignore the labels because like I said that's no longer what's in these so I will show you what's in them now. So this top drawer is all of our English and math curriculum and I have like what three years worth I think or so in each one of these um, hanging file folders. These are the box bottom file folders so they're wider than a regular file folder. So everything's just in there. Um, let's see if I can pull this all the way out so you can see how deep the drawers are. So they're pretty deep drawers. So that's the English and math in the top drawer. This drawer has social studies and science. I made my little um, labels just by putting a colored piece of paper inside and then using my um, brother P-Touch label maker to make the some clear labels to put on top of the plastic there. Okay, then this other top drawer has all of our word building, which is like spelling. And then in the back, I have, um, these are kind of our permanent, well, right behind it, I have all the coloring books. And these are the coloring books that... I don't want the kids to have access to so well that one I don't care about but anyways this is my family treasures coloring book I really like this one and we have you know books about America mazes our wildflowers um, Papa got these for us from work the propane more flowers uh, gun safety more gun safety so more educational type coloring books that I might want to just make some copies out of. Um, those are in here. Then, then these are what I call our, our permanent files for all the kids and I have one for myself too. So each one of us has a file that has three folders, the permanent, complete, and scrapbook. And I left everything in here from last year so I could show you what they look like. But the, um, the permanent is where I keep like, let me show you Thomas's. It has um, report cards that I've made and just records of test scores and uh, like standardized test scores and all those kinds of things I keep in a permanent 
folder. Then in the complete folder throughout the year as they finish um, a pace and do the test, then I put that in here or any other, you know, work that was not pace related that I want to keep, then I put the test in here. I, I throw away or sh I actually shred the paces and we use them on our compost but the tests I keep in here and then um, the scrapbook that's just pictures that the kids make or like just on their own time or stuff we do for school that we would just like to keep in their scrapbook that goes in the scrapbook file then um, at the end of the year I put the stuff in the well, I should say I put the stuff in the scrapbooks. I have it for several years, so I'm really backed up. I have a huge amount of stuff to put in their scrapbooks. But that stuff goes in one place. Then I have manila um, envelopes that I just put all of that year's school things up into their permanent storage up in the attic. So this year I'll be emptying out the complete in the scrapbook files, and then we'll fill it up with all of our new stuff for this school year. And I had put little... Um, little stickers here in each one of the kids' colors to make it easier to see at a glance whose was whose. I'd rather have just a solid color, but at the time I did this I didn't have any, so I used little robots for the boys and um, flowers for the girls. And I think, yeah, I go clear on down to Claudia, but the, Sophia and Claudia haven't started school yet, so I didn't actually have file folders, but I did put scrapbook stuff in there. And like for Claudia, I still have some of her baby stuff from when she was born, putting her baby scrapbook. So that stuff's all in there. So that's everything in this file cabinet. This one is still appropriately labeled and probably the one we get into the most frequently. We call this one supplies. And this is where we store all of our paper. Um, so in the front I have copy paper for putting in the printers. And then we usually have our paper for making like our, our art paper for doing our nature notebooks and things like that stays in the front. Um, this is an open thing of the copy paper. I cut the top or the side off so it doesn't all flop around and then we can um, reach in and grab it. This is that newsprint that I had bought to do my planner. This is all construction paper for the kids and when I get a package I sort it all out by color because it's easier to find it that way so I sort them you know, normally it's like, you know, a pink and then a red and all that in stacks, but I just sort them all out so then they're all together, each color. This is regular copy paper that is colored. And then behind that we have graph paper and then just lined notebook paper there. This is cardstock and I also have some black cardstock in there. These are my laminating sheets and photo paper behind that. And then these are all of our page protectors and there's some that are just the plain and some have the pocket pages for um like I don't know if you can see that but so you can like do photo album things or we use them for holding flashcards and stuff like that in their school books. Also in there I have some divider pages that I keep a few extras. There actually is like a labels in there but anyways those are also right there. Then the last thing in this book is all of my um, label sheets. So, like these make the little tiny labels like that. And instead of labeling my folders by um, by the label number, I label them by the size of the label because I a lot of the times I'm not actually printing on them. I just want the label itself. So I like to find the one I want based on its size and then I have some round ones and like the t-shirt transfers and um, what's that stuff called? The tracing paper and carbon paper, yeah that's what it's called. So just a few random things right here in the back. And wait, you can't see in there, but way back there I have just some extra um, file folders. Now this year this drawer has all of the score keys in it. So I have math, English, social studies, science, and word building. And then um, I mentioned this, that we I made these laminated pages for the kids to slide in where they took a score key out so that we could um, find the spot easily to put the score key back again when we're done. And then over here, this used to be all of our business and personal things, but I needed more pace room this year. So this now holds all of the high school level curriculum 
and score keys in it. And as I said, I ran out of room in the file cabinet since I bought extra curriculum this year. So the stuff that was in that last drawer that was our business, paperwork, and our family things, I needed to put them somewhere. I still have a little extra space under my desk, but I couldn't put a file cabinet there necessarily because there's like a, um, the little, what is it called? Little plug-in things are back there that I need to get to. And so I didn't want something permanent there. And of course, if there was a file cabinet drawer at the top, you couldn't open it and get into it. So I decided instead to order this file cart on wheels. So it just rolls out and I did of course measure to make sure that I could get it in and out of here easily. So it's just this little cart on wheels. I think it was like $55 from Amazon. It's got a little shelf on the bottom that I'm sure I will find something to put on that. But um, all of our other stuff that was in that other drawer is now up here. So here we have, um, these are charts that I've made that are just laminated that sometimes I want to get out again. We have our file folder games here. Then we have our non paste subjects, just things that I keep, you know, for our Greek or life skills or just ideas that I have for things I stick in here. Then we have our ACE printed forms that we don't use that much, but I like to keep them around just in case or at least for reference. So they're all in here and our sticker charts actually should not be in this, should be in the other one. But anyways, <laughs> um, our homeschool file, this has our stuff for um, our membership with Homeschool Legal Defense Association, all of our notices of intent to our school board and their responses, and um, this is just information for our standardized test things, not necessarily the scores themselves, but just other information. Then here is another ACE file where I keep catalogs and you know, coloring pages for the first grade. What else? Some of our song CDs, coordination of development tests, diagnostic tests, and just some of the other things from them. So all of the stuff with the pink files here and the purple labels, this is all school related. Then the next se section is these kind of grayish files. They're all um, like home or family business kind of things. So I have financial documents here like about our um while i was doing the conmari method i i got rid of so much paperwork that we had in the attic like bags and bags of shredded stuff and i'm talking like 25 bags or something i don't remember it was a ton of paper that we shredded so these files now need to be relabeled because a lot of them there's just so many fewer of them and i reduced it down so now my labels are a little weird because they don't quite fit anymore but anyways I think I have all the stuff for like our 401k and all those kinds of things here in this financial documents one this is all stuff to do with our our house here um, these are receipts for like big ticket items that we bought then we have our income tax file so you know, year one, year two, year three, and then everything else, I just keep, um, I get rid of all of the, uh, supporting documents and just keep the actual tax return itself and this for all the years past that here. And then everything to do with our insurance is there. Um, then we have business is in these kind of purpley colored folders here and these are just kind of overviews of a year's worth of tickets and things in this one. And then these are things to do with our sales tax things. And then um, like our tax exempt forms from our customers and just random stuff there. Up here on my desk, I have this bin. This is where I basically throw all of our business stuff throughout the year that I will need for paying taxes and things. I used to like sort things out a lot more, but it was a lot of busy work I realized because there's just not that much paperwork that we actually need to keep. I get rid of all of our tickets, everything like that. I don't need a reference again once I've looked at them once and we have them already, they're saved on the computer. 
so there's no need to keep a hard copy. So now I just shred all that. I do keep receipts for things that have to do with our business and um, really that's basically it. Just mostly receipts I think. So I just throw it all in that bin and then when it's time to do the taxes I sort it all out and do our taxes. Then we just have our personal things like our health records are all in these blue folders and legal documents. And then in the very back we have a file for our pets, like all their shot records and you know for our bunny his like uh what is that what's that called? He's a purebred rabbit. So we have the paperwork for that in there. And then the last part here has a few of the um manuals that go with some of our big stuff around the house. So that's like for our TV. I got rid of most of this stuff, but there was just a few things I decided to keep. And then some more empty file folders and um, hanging files are in the back. So now you guys know what I keep in my file cabinets. I still have quite a few more office videos that I'm hoping to get done soon. Um, but thank you guys for coming over and spending a few minutes with me today, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.